Hello people, this video is going to be about printing ABS plastic models on the AnyCubic Mega Zero printer. AnyCubic suggests that you only use PLA and not ABS when printing using the Mega Zero. However, I find the need to print ABS on this printer and that's what I'm doing right now. Now, it helps if you have a heated bed, and since the Mega Zero doesn't come with one, uh, again, I covered this in a previous video, I bought a, a heated desk mat off Amazon for 30 bucks and stuck it between the, the heat bed and mechanism underneath, and it's it works. It's what, right now it's like 100 degrees, it keeps the plastic from curling up, so it's very helpful. Uh, I no longer have to use blue paint, paint, bleh, painter's tape, you know, and stuff like that. So, all right. Uh, one thing about printing ABS plastic is you're going to have to raise the temperature up on the printer. The Mega Zero can go, I think, it's either 255 or 260 degrees. I'm printing at 245. ABS plastic uh, generally, I think, requires the temperature between 230 and 270 degrees. So 245 seems to be sufficient. So it's running just under the maximum limit of the Mega Zero, but enough to print the, uh, the ABS plastic. And it's doing a pretty good job. Now, one thing you're gonna have to do, hang on, let me switch shots. Okay, one of the things you're gonna have to do is create a profile capable or, or defaulting to a high temperature and to do that you can take one of the the Mega Zero's uh, suggested parameters copy that and then rename it which I did here well let me start over let me do it over so it's it's easier for you guys okay so I'm gonna copy this I'm going to rename it. Uh, ABS. We'll take the cure profile dot extension out and put in my own dot zip. That's going to change it to a zip file. Now, what I want to do is I want to extract that. That's right there. Okay. Now, what I want to do is double click that. Well, or use WordPad. Don't use Notepad. Use WordPad to uh, open it up and change. Well, what I did is I, I just changed the default printing temperature from 220 to 245. And so I would do a search and replace, and you replace all that. So once you do that, then back out of that, and then you need to zip that file up. Let me get rid of the other one. Because that one we didn't modify, we modified this one. Now, we want to zip it. All right, now we got that, okay, now it's zipped up. Now you need to rename it. You need to take the dot zip out and replace the underscore with a, well, with a period. And then when you go into Cura, Wall, manage settings. And you can import 
that profile. Yeah, that's it. They imported it. And we'll have your new settings in there. Okay, that's how you do it. I'm going to remove it, okay, because I've already got, already got my own. All right. All right, so that's how I'm printing ABS plastic models. Uh, ABS is tougher than PLA. It seems like it's less brittle, more durable. So that's what I'm going with right now. It depends on the application. All right, guys. Till next time, happy 3D printing.